still treatment right now. In between the BOS and the caster. Coming over here, I've got to see how it all starts from the BOS, runs through still treatment, and comes out of slab in the caster. In between the BOS and the caster, so we make sure we get the BOS to nice hot ladles all the time. We make sure the ladles get to them on time, and we make sure they're treated here well, and we give them up to the caster on time. We make sure that the chemistry of the steel that's going to the caster and the temperature uh, is within the range. Behind me right now we have ladle dryers. We have a fleet of ladles. We see 13 and 7, they're ladles. And what we do right now is where we're heating up the refractories inside those ladles before the BOS tap into it. So once they tap into it, then we treat it over here at still treatment. Uh, production will treat it. And then from there, depending on the temperature and the chemistry, it'll go to the caster and then they'll put it through their strands. We've got tolerances of plus or minus four degrees over um, 1570, 1580. Here, everything is done by the minute. So you have, you, you have to be on the ball, which, which, which I appreciate because I like, I like staying busy. The container of steel that was tapped out from the BOS has now been put into our transfer car and from there I'll run it through our system. I'm a senior analyst in here. Uh, we've got Glenn, he's a senior shift chemist, so samples arrive via the plant into that area and then they come through the grinders, we put it in and they come out here and we analyse the samples. It comes up on our screen and then we just let the guys upstairs know how they're travelling. Like a, like a master chef. They sort of tell us, yes, so we give them ingredients and what they need to put into their steel. Wow. We're giving them results on uh, yeah, how they're going with their, their cakes and their donuts. So just then we've witnessed the ladle tipping the slag after they've cast it into um, slags. I like seeing things work, I like seeing how things work and knowing why they work like that. This team I think has been the best I could have ever asked for. I think they were very welcoming since the first day until now. So the new technology all the time, it's always great, we're always learning something and the crew that we're working with right now are just fantastic crew, they all pull in together, work as a team. I mean it's an asset, it's mine to look after, I'm responsible for it and I'll make sure that all the maintenance gets done. We're a maintenance section so we try the best going to be proactive and try to stop issues from occurring before they occur. I think mechanical engineering is perfect for both hands-on and office and research. You get a bit of everything. So you always got something to do, there's always some um, keeping you taken over. You look after, I've worked in a lot of departments. They're all, my, my colleagues, they're all good. They usually say, you know, do you work at the castle or the BOS? Nobody ever talks about still treatment. But it's a very important part of the plan because as I said, we need to get the chemistry and the temperature right before it goes to the caster. Oh, I like to say scientist to my kids, but they prefer master chef instead. <laughs> no, it looks like fireworks to me. Where their mummies are trying to really put the hard word on them to do rule and go to university. So make sure you got that. <laughs> I'm sure I started too much when I was nervous. Nervous? Yeah. Ah. Thank you very much. Done.